What's up, everyone? Happy Wednesday. How's your week going? We are bringing you some uh, spectacular lake views today. Spectacular lake views today. Big day today, big day. About to jump on a plane. Head out to Texas. Heading out to Texas. Got a big crew with us riding today. Got the geese hanging out with us. All right, who's getting on? Oh, here we go, here we go. We're building up, we're building up. All right, all right. We're spreading some love today, like we do every day. Ben E, let's go. Texas a bust. Let's go, let's get some. Benny's coming to Texas for his first time. First Apex event, Apex Live tomorrow. Meeting up with a big crew of people down in Texas to fill our heads with some awesomeness and knowledge and love and all that good stuff. Knowledge is power. So uh, let's get a message going. Let's get a message going for you today. What should we talk about? Let's start with this. Scale of 1 to 10. How happy are you and how satisfied are you with where you are in life? Financially, relationships, relationships with God, relationships with your spouse, relationships with your kids, relationship with your friends. Uh, financially, uh, do you hate your job? Do you have enough money? Uh, would you like more money? Uh, health. Uh, are you the weight you want to be? Are you the physical shape you want to be? Sit down, be honest with yourself. How happy are you with where you are in life? On a scale of 1 to 10, rate yourself. Rate yourself. Benny's at a 9.5. Where were you uh, a couple months ago, Benny? That's a good question. 9.5 today. Why are you at a 9.5 now? Where were you? Uh, when did I get you into this? Four or five months ago? April? Where were you in April? So the reason I'm talking about that is because um, my buddy Mark Zalinoff, the fitness ninja, uh, flipped on the podcast shuffle this morning. He jumped in and he was talking about the Olympics and people in the Olympics train their whole lives to run a couple minutes, you know, to, to basically uh, dedicate their whole lives to, to one event, one event. They trained five years in a row for one event, one event. Um, are you putting in the work? Are you putting in the work? Uh, if someone in Olympics can train five plus years to run two minutes in an event, why aren't you putting in the work? Why can't you put in the work? Why can't you stick to the diet? Why can't you stick to the workout regimen? Why can't you stick to saying your prayers? Why can't you stick to getting up early and doing what you're supposed to do? Those of us here are doing the work. We're getting up early. We're riding at dawn. We're spreading love. Um, are you going to do the work? Are you going to do the work? If you're not happy with where you are, are you going to do the work? If someone can train for five plus years to be in the Olympics for a two minute event, can you give it six months? Can you give it a year? Can you give it five years? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question. I'm going to Texas because you know what? I wasn't satisfied with life. I was fat. I was drinking a lot. I was hating life. Uh, I had bad relationships in my life. Um, I wasn't where I wanted to be financially. So we started making some changes. We started making some changes. Lost 75 pounds. Getting up here, riding at dawn. We're 65 days in of 365. Because you know what? Putting in the works. Time to make a change. Time to make a change. And we're bringing people with us on the journey. Bringing people with us on a journey. Benny came with us. Benny's coming to Texas. For the first time i'm going to texas i think it's my fourth time now since april why because i'm making a change are you going to make the change or are you going to be satisfied at a five benny there we go he was a five no clarity no time for things for business and life changing his mindset trying to stay positive every day are you ready to make the change are you ready to make the change ask yourself this question scale of one to ten where are you where are you if you're not up in the nines it's time to put some work in. It's time to put some work in. So that is the message today. So uh, my friend Dawn, my friend and uh, agent on my team, uh, brought me this hat, Spread Love, from uh, a new friend, Joshua Saeed. Uh, Polo Spreads Love. So he's on this mission, nonprofit, to uh, change the world, spread love. Um, so he's got an apparel line here. Um, look it up. 
Um, again, I've just discovered it. I just found him yesterday, and I love the message. I love the idea, and um, we're gonna we're gonna partner on this one. We love spreading love, so uh, check it out. Uh, Joshua Saeed, all those spreads love, and uh, they're going around raising money and doing good things and spreading some love. So um, that said, go out and spread love every day. Put in the work. Scale of one to ten. Think about it. Think about it. Where are you? Where are you? And if you're not where you want to be, why are you sitting there? Why are you being average? Get up. Let's go. Every morning, we ride at dawn. Every day, ride at dawn. Rain, shine. If you feel good, if you feel bad, doesn't matter. We ride at dawn. So, all right, here we go. Father Eugene is in the house. Janine's in the house. Joni's in the house. Joni's live watching me live. <laughs> we got a beautiful, how are we? Let's show you the view again here today. Before we jump in the, oh yeah. Well, that's in a prayer session. That's in a prayer session. All right, all right. Look at that. God is good every day. All right, so as we get into prayers, we're going to talk about something that really, really cool that kind of just happened. Um, those of you that follow this all the time, uh, remember a story here when me and Father Eugene rode here for the first time. Something told me it's time to ride to Hendrickson Park. So for the first time ever, we brought Father Eugene down to Hendrickson Park and we rode up on my mother-in-law and her friends uh, in a prayer circle. And they happened to be praying for their friend Liz, who uh, was going in for uh, stomach cancer, um, have her stomach removed. Pretty wild, pretty wild. So at the right moment, the right time, God aligned us, made us go to the park and made us show up just at the time that they were saying prayers. And we were able to join join them in their prayer and if you remember follow up to that story the next morning when I was talking about the experience uh, I walked up to a random tree by the lake and there was rosary beads hanging from the tree kind of thing that this signs out there yesterday's message signs God gives us signs so today we decide hey we're gonna ride to Hendrickson Park I'm jumping on a plane in a little while we don't want to go too far because I gotta get home and who's walking in the park Liz running, running. running in the park <laughs> Liz awesome. Liz that was two months ago where's yeah. Today's day 65 of 365 on this journey, um, early in the journey. So two months ago, she had her stomach removed and she's running in the park today. If that doesn't give you a sign that you shouldn't give up, I don't know what does. Um, mindset, 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 positive mindset. You can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. She survived stomach cancer and is running in the park two months later. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So keep the faith and uh, trust in God and say your prayers, man. They work, they work. All right, so let's jump in here. We gotta get the prayers going. Again, yeah, we're heading off to Texas in, uh, what am I, 10.15 the plane's boarding. So uh, I gotta get a move on. And we gotta get our 10 miles in because we ride at dawn every day. All right, so let's jump in here. Oop, dropping my hat over here, don't step on it. Oop, falling down. <laughs> I'm a mess. Together, I gotta get it together. Let's get everyone in view. Get everyone in view here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for always leading us, and thank you for the beautiful message of uh, evaluating oneself uh, assessments. I think the need for that is always for you to make a change and then improve on your level, so uh, you don't have to feel bad if you are sincere with your level uh, well, no matter what level you are don't feel bad about it but the excellence and the, the importance of that evaluation is to improve and move on and then get higher I mean uh, higher grades so we pray that God will continue to help us to make a positive change and improve on our levels and then uh, become what we are supposed to be with one another good relationship a better relationship with God and our friends and neighbors and all those around us. So, as we thank God for Liz and we pray that God will continue to do His miracles in our lives, in the lives of all those we meet and those who also follow us, as we say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Amen. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Have Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, we continually thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of a new day, and for the opportunity to come together as friends and uh, to exercise ourselves. And we thank you for every one of us and friends and families. And we thank you for the miracle you did in the life of Liz. And we ask you to continually do the same for all the sick, those in the hospitals, the homebound, and those who have no one to take care of them. And we pray for our travelers of today, especially Brian, and then our travelers today, that you continue to lead them safely to their destination and back. Father, bless our day, bless all our projects, all our activities, and bless everyone there who counts on you. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Amen. Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the blessing. Um, God is good. Say your prayers. 65 strong, Greg. Um, spread love every day. Spread love. That's it. That's it. All right, let's give you one last view of the lake here before we get on with the journey. Look at that. Reflections. We talk about reflections a lot. Life will reflect what you put out there. Put out the love, put out the good, put in the work, and it will reflect back. It will reflect back. All right, all right. So we are heading out to Texas, jumping on a 1030 flight, and uh, we'll be in Texas until Friday night. And uh, we are going to be filling our heads with knowledge. We're going to be sharing some, some ideas, some values, some love with our Apex crew out there. And uh, Benny's coming for the first time. So we will be live out of Texas. It's probably going to be, um, I don't know, 7.30-ish here. We're doing 6 a.m. there, which is 7 o'clock here. Um, and we're going to do a group workout. And then somehow I'm going to jump live in the middle of that. So the timing may be off tomorrow. I'll try and tag a bunch of people so we can get our message in. We'll see how that goes. Benny will be by my side because he's getting up at 6 a.m. We're going to let Mark try and kill him tomorrow in the uh, at the hotel. Uh, last time we did in the parking garage. Definitely uh, was a fun experience. If you saw the uh, pictures out there. So anyway, evaluate your life. Be honest with yourself. One to ten, where are you at? Where are you at and where do you want to be? And how are you going to get there? It's time to make those tough decisions. Time to make the tough decisions. Be real with yourself. Evaluate it. Make a change. Get there. If anyone needs help with anything in life, you know where to find me. Um, if you're interested in making a change in your life and you would like some help in that, I am happy to help. Um, Benny on this journey, I grabbed him, we, we pulled him into Apex early, and uh, he's making some killer strides as you guys have seen. Um, we're trying to change the world, we're trying to change ourselves, make it a better place, make our lives better, and you can join the journey. DM me, message me, and I'm happy to help you. We'll talk. All right, enjoy your day. Halfway through the week, you got another half of the week to slay. Let's go get it. God bless.